And welcome back to the Mike Pressler Show here at Blackie's Bulldog Tavern in Smithfield. Mike Van Cuso now joined by senior netminder Jameson Love. And Jameson, How are you? great to have you here on the show. Pleasure to be here. A couple numbers to run through. Right now, you've got a 649 save percentage, second best in the nation, 7.84 goals against, 11th best in the nation, and 14.8 saves per game, number one in the nation. So, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you very much. Uh, prior to your time at Bryant, you were a high school All American at Darien High School, and you also played ice hockey. What position did you play in hockey? I played right wing in, in uh, ice hockey, actually. I was kind of the enforcer. I would go down in the corners and try and dig out the puck to the more skilled players. I didn't have great hands, so no. I was just going for the big hit most so of the time. No double duty as a goaltender in that, too. No, actually, the style between hockey and lacrosse is kind of conflicting. In hockey, you're a butterfly goalie, yep. so you go down on your legs a lot for shots, and that kind of, in lacrosse, it doesn't translate very well because if there's shots up high, then you're obviously anticipating lower, yep. so you kind of dip your hands, and sometimes it doesn't work out. They don't really complement each other well. So, and now, how old were you when you started playing lacrosse, and when did you first become a goalkeeper? Um, I started playing lacrosse in about third grade. That was when our program started in Darien, okay. and I, I was a midfielder till about fifth grade, which is when travel league started. Yep. And what happened was obviously no one wanted to play goalie, so <laughs> they kind of just threw everyone in the net, see who it worked who it worked well with and I was a catcher in baseball as well so they figured that I'd be I had good hit and eye and I'd work well for the position so I did well and then I was crazy enough to stick with it and here I am today. Yeah. Well, it certainly takes a different kind of player to play goalkeeper, especially in lacrosse when they're hurling that ball at you made of solid rubber at 90 to 100 miles an hour. Like, how do you keep yourself in the frame of mind to stop these shots? Um, you're kind of not really in your mind. You're kind of <laughs> out of your mind if you're going to be a goalie, obviously. But I don't know. I'd say the adrenaline keeps me going most yeah. of all. I mean, trying to make that big save for your team when they're running around all day, busting their butt for you. Yep. So, I mean, just, I guess... The goalie is the last line of defense, so I just pretty much do anything I can to put my team in a better position. Yep. Now, when picking colleges, how did you come upon Bryant University, and what were some of the primary factors in selecting Bryant? Okay. Well, um, I heard that Coach P had come up to Bryant, so that obviously sparked my interest right yep. away. And my dad actually went to Bryant University okay. when he was younger, so right right away it was kind of it seemed like a good fit. And then I came up for a visit, uh, met with Coach Pressler, and. From there is history pretty much. He's a great salesman. He talked me yep. into it right away. Jameson, how would you like to be in black and gold? Would you like to be a bulldog? So, I mean, he really sold me on it right away. And also, I was looking for the business aspect. So yep. the business school was a was a huge plus for me right. as well. And then I did my overnight. Loved the guys and the team. So Perfect. pretty much worked out perfectly. Yeah. yeah, it's worked out for both sides so mm -hmm. far. And since coming to Bryant, what have you learned from Coach Pressler and the staff? Um, coach P, as well as the other coaches, have really been big on just um, kind of taking us from the young men we are to le hopefully leaving college as, as better men. Mm -hmm. So I would say while becoming a better and more knowledgeable lacrosse player, I've also definitely become a better person because of him. And some of the big key things that he harps on are loyalty, uh, respect, being hum being humble. So. I'd say those are the, some of the biggest uh, yep. qualities I'll take with me from Coach Bressler, absolutely. Excellent. Now, you were second team all NEC as both a sophomore and a junior. What kind of goals did you set for yourself coming into this season, and how do those tie in with what you guys are trying to achieve as a team? Well, last year, um, it was kind of a rough year for the program, obviously. We went eight and nine. We were sub 500. So first and foremost, we just wanted to have a better year as a team. So we wanted to get into the into our conference tournament, obviously win that tournament, and hopefully make it to the uh, NCAA tournament. So those are my big goals. And uh, then you break it down defensively. We had, I think, our our goals against average is like seven goals against with a man down percentage of less, th giving up less than 20% of goals. And for myself, I came off probably my worst year in my life as a goalie. So. I really just wanted to get back on track. And the goal I set for myself was 60% save percentage. Yep. So if I could match that this year, I think that'd be, that'd be a great accomplishment. Excellent. As well as hopefully following through with our team goals as well. Yep. And now, as a senior this year, you're one of five captains on the team. How do you, mm -hmm. would you define your role both on and off the field and the types of leadership you need to provide for yeah. this team? I'd say I'm more of an emotional leader, very outspoken. Yep. So I'm the guy in the, before the game who's, uh, who's, run it, who's running the huddle, kind of giving mm -hmm. the pump-up speech. I'll be the one screaming my head off all the time. So I'd say 
that's probably my role as a leader. Um, I like to lead by example as well. I try and work as hard as I can in all the drills. And on the field, I'd say as a goalie, I'm obviously in the position to be the quarterback of the defense. So that's that's probably my biggest role on the team is just quarterback and the defense on and off. Yep. And now let's talk a little bit about this huge comeback against Drexel. Now they scored four goals on their first four shots on goal of the game, mm -hmm. and that put them up, you know, four nothing. Then somehow you're able to turn things completely around. You stop 13 of the next 15 shots for the remainder of the game. How did you turn things around? Well, um, defensively, I'd say the first four goals were kind of they were all on us. We kind of um, we had a couple defensive blunders where we let them in the game. I was screened on a couple of the shots, so I didn't really pick them up well. But then my defense just bared down. We were playing the way we wanted to. We stuck to the game plan, and the team got frustrated, so they were settling for outside shots. And when I say outside shots, you mean outside 12, which is what we aim for as defense, because that's my comfort range. If they're shooting outside 12, then we're doing a great mm -hmm. job. So my defense played really well, and was they gave me the opportunity to just sit back and make the easy saves. Now you had some clutch saves down the stretch, especially in the last minute of play. Is this the best comeback though that you've ever been a part of? Absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, this this game was circled on our schedule, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, we we lost a couple big games in the season that we wish, we, we probably thought we shouldn't have. And um, this was the next game where we thought it was a top 20 team. They lost to Virginia by one, who's number one in the nation. Yep. They lost to Notre Dame, who's number one in the nation. So. This was a huge game for us. We really wanted to come back and uh, just make a statement, basically. And to come back from a five five nothing deficit right. after halftime, it was it was really impressive that our guys bared down and were able to pull out the win. Absolutely. Now, goalies in many sports have been known to be a little bit quirky, a little bit odd. Do you have any strange rituals or superstitions or just things about you that uh, kind of go in with that? Yeah, actually, um, for every game since I've been at Bryant, I've been wearing the same socks. Same pair of boxers, obviously washed, but uh, same pair of boxers. Before the game, I, I stretch about two and a half hours before, do the same stretch I've done for four years I've been here. I always have to be chewing a piece of gum. Yep. Um, I wear the same t-shirt. It's freaky stuff like that, I guess. I like to stick, if I'm doing well, I like to stick with the things that have made me do well, so I like to use the same stick, even if the mesh is tearing or something, I'll just doctor it up a little bit. But yeah, I, have do, I do have certain superstitions that have stuck with me without a doubt. So. Awesome. Well, Jameson, we thank you for joining us here on the Mike Pressler Show. Best of luck the rest thank of the season. Much. We'll be back with Coach Pressler to break down next week's game against Albany coming up here on the Mike Pressler Show on Cox Sports Television.